I don't know what it is, but I'm just not excited for this Cesaro and Joe Boxer Parker fight. You know, it's just I can't get up for it. You see, you don't even feel like there's anything going on the weekend. Uh, it's something about Parker. It's just he just doesn't excite you, you know. He's even though in the ring he's been in some some exciting fights to be fair, but it's just something about I don't know. I, who, who can? <laughs> I'm just looking at the card right now. It just seems funny having Derek Chisora top of the bill and then you got Bivol underneath him, <laughs> Katie Taylor. That's quite crazy. But that's the heavyweight division for you. A man like Cesaro can still be top of the bill with 10 losses over multi-division world champions like Katie Taylor. Even though um, female boxing, in my opinion, is a completely different sport. But, um, yeah, um, you got you still got Bivol on the card. Dimitri Bivol, long-reigning um, world champion, light every world champion. So, how can a man with 10 losses be top of the bill over them? crazy for some reason i'm struggling to pick a winner though i still can't i still can't pick a winner uh, maybe as we get close to the day maybe like friday or something on or on fight now i might make my mind up but i really have no idea who's gonna win this fight obviously you should be favoring you should probably be favoring um just joseph parker because chisora has always lost every time he's fought at a certain level which um, would have to say Parker is that, but then again, it is Joseph Parker. He does kind of um, go in his little shell when you stick it on him. Like, for example, in the Dylan White fight, he just refused to fight Dylan until the what, what was it, the eleventh and the twelfth round. He just was not doing much. So, if Chizoro Chizoro can actually bully this guy out of the fight, that's actually quite possible. You never know with Joseph Parker. I can actually still see Parker boxing his way to a, a UD. He can definitely UD Derek. That's very possible. Um, I don't see Chisora knocking him out. And I don't see Parker knocking Chisora out either. So this fight has actually got distance written all over it. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to make a prediction. But um, yeah. I, I'm just actually thinking about it as I speak. So. I still can't pick a winner, but I, I don't see I don't see a knockout happening. They both got spanking new trainers, so it'll be interesting to see what sort of changes they've made to their game. Chisora's now with Buddy McGirt, a Buddy McGirt who's known for turning brawlers into boxers. He, yeah. So if you remember in the Usyk fight, Chisora was switching southpaw, jabbing Usyk's head off with a with a right jab and all that. So maybe he's trying to get more boxing in there maybe that's what it's trying to attempt in the twilight of his career we'll see and um what's your boy's name parker parker's with andy lee what was what this andy lee's first job as a head trainer well he's he's only been sideman for javon sugar hill in the tyson fury training camp so should be interesting to see what he can offer joseph parker um people have been um, attributing the stagnation if you will to um, stagnation of joseph parker's career they've been blaming his former trainer kevin barry saying it's the reason why parker just seems stuck at the same spot it's just the lack of progression lack of improvement so now he's left kevin barry is with andy lee we'll see what difference what difference it makes in the ring to be honest i'm not really expecting much of a change i'm not really expecting to see much of a difference in Joseph Parker's boxing. I expect to see the same old Joseph Parker in that ring on Saturday night. He would do probably just about enough to to get the win, but who knows? Derek might just get the nod because if you look on your screen right now, look on the poster. Who's the bloody A side? Your boy Cesaro. So yeah, mind you, the fight's in the UK. He just might get the nod. So I'm expecting a, a competitive fight, which is probably gonna go the distance and. Yeah, controversial decision in the end. I don't want to give like 10 different scenarios, but it wasn't even a prediction video to begin with. But I'm just going to say, yeah, it's probably going to be a controversial decision in the end. 
with um, both men having a claim to you to you to victory a legit claim we'll see how the fight goes anyways leave your thoughts in the comment section below like the video subscribe if you're new up here and i'm out oh no of course slap up the notification bell too don't forget that you can't forget that i'm out <laughs>